Remember when you were a kid and you lost something or you got hurt or like me, you always came second in cross country because you just could not beat your exceptionally well-named mate, Ben Warrior. And there was always an adult, dad, who said something like, don't worry, son, it builds character. Well, John Hicks' version of the Iron Age Theodicy is like that. It's about character building. He says that suffering builds character, it builds the soul. Remember, of course, that a theodicy is a way of justifying God in the face of evil in the world. It's a way of saying that God can be, can be omnibenevolent and omnipotent uh, and allow evil to exist. So, John Hick tells us that evil exists because it puts us through a process of moral growth. And if God intervened in this, then it would completely undermine our freedom and our free will. In fact, he takes it further by saying that God created his own existence um, to an epistemic distance. So what he meant was he made his own existence somewhat vague because if we were 100% sure that God was watching us, then we would be good through fear, that whole big brother is watching you kind of thing. But if God's existence is somewhat vague and we live in an imperfect world, then any virtues we develop become truer. It's not a great word, but it will work. John Hicks said that if we were born with this sort of innate goodness, this whole idea that God made us perfect beings, then any virtues we had would be the virtues of robots. They would be basically valueless. So, um, what that means is without freedom to make choices, humans wouldn't be able to develop those key virtues of love, compassion, grace and kindness. Now remember, our focus in class is to explore the ways in which a religious person might be inspired to strive against the existence of suffering and evil in the world. And that's what we will look at in the next few videos.